Hi everyone, I'm super excited to say that I'm with Amelia Hi. and <laughs> Amelia is a science technician at Sanctum Wood School in Cambridge and we're going to be doing some experiments together. If you want to follow Amelia on Instagram, her handle is amelia.science and she does some really cool experiments so you should go check her out. But I'm super excited because we're bringing Science with Hazel to the laboratory. In today's video, Amelia and I are going to show you how to measure the energy content of Food. so it's quite a complicated experiment so make sure you watch nice and carefully. Now let's first of all pick the food we're measuring the energy content of. We're not being very original here, we've simply got a watsit. So your first step is to measure the mass of the watsit using a measuring balance and this watsit is coming out as being 0.48 grams. Amelia is then going to pop it on a mounted needle and then the next step is to add 20 centimetres cubed of water to a boiling tube and we're using a measuring cylinder in order to do that. Amelia has popped a thermometer into the boiling tube so we can measure the initial temperature and we're just going to wait for it to calibrate. It's quite warm in the lab so our starting temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. The next step is to set our food sample alight using a Bunsen burner. As you can see, the mounted needle is used to keep that burning watsit away from your hands. Now this is the crucial part of the experiment. We're using the heat being generated by that burning watsit to heat the 20 centimetres cubed of water. That's amazing. The temperature is really rising. It's really crucial that you allow your food sample to burn completely. And it's really important that we have a heat proof mat here to catch any of the cinders. So I'm now looking at the thermometer to see the final temperature reached, which I can see is 45 degrees Celsius. So that means the experiment is complete. So to find out E, the amount of energy released by that food, we use the equation energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. Crucially, the mass is the mass of water heated so 20 centimetres cubed of water is the equivalent of 20 grams of water. So we do 20 times the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.2, times the change in temperature, which remember our final temperature was 45 degrees Celsius, our initial temperature was 22 degrees Celsius, so our change in temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. So do 20 times 4.2 times 23 in order to find out the energy released if you want to find it out per gram of food, you simply need to divide that number by the original mass of the food, which remember was 0 0.48. So I've used my calculator to find out that the value of the energy content per gram of what's it is 4,025 joules per gram. So make sure you can use that equation.